going on, everybody over here? Welcome. Yes. All right. So it's Dougie. an honor to be on this show. You oh, know? man. Um, yes, yeah, so it's been a crazy year. Um, anyone who's been following what we're up to, uh, you know, after I've thrown Chalice Festival for this will be my fifth year throwing it. Nice. Um, I started the Hitman brand a little about me real quick. Started the Hitman brand about back in uh, 2009 in Boston. And um, have really put my heart and soul into the culture. You know, I can I can definitely confidently say that. And um, there's been, I feel like we're all kind of part of that guinea pig generation, right? And uh, it's not a fun experience to be the guinea pig, right? And it might be, you know, we're all learning about what we're smoking, what's in the stuff we're smoking. Yep. Um, and, and I've taken a lot of pride in building a festival that regardless of what my competition in the space was doing, I really was striving for something better um, on, on all levels, you know, and seeing what, seeing what type of events were in the space and like when it came to competitions, the notoriety of certain competitions, you know, all those things became questionable due to back end politics, sponsorship oh, money. Yeah. And that's a real thing, that's you know, and um, there's a lot of people in this culture toting these awards around and a, an award can do a lot for you, but it also depends who the award was from and like what the yeah. notoriety is there. <laughs> I know several and, people have stopped doing those turn those the awards. Yeah, because the, of that. The, the, the cups. Right. Well, I mean, and, and look, you know, is it is it a political thing or is it about the, the weed and the hash? Or is it about the money? Right. And, and, but and, isn't it always political and about the name of I, what I will is say is a real this. one? What I will say is this. So um, I was fortunate enough to judge high times um, for years, you know, where I would, you know, they, they would let me be a celebrity judge or whatever private judge whatever they call that right and uh i started doing that before they even had a concentrate category so when it was just old school hash so we've really developed there's no argument that in the last 10 years here concentrates and hash yeah. has really changed to a whole new ball game right Jeez. and we've all been moving with the times high times included you know and, and my point is this though to watch those guys developed the whole thing you know like i saw where there could be voids filled um as far as production as far as music like hey i remember going to the high times cannabis cup i was a young lad okay a little delinquent um used to read high times yeah. taking you know go in the bathroom yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh Deucing. you know it was just one of those things, man, where you you read all these strain names, you read all this stuff, you know, you didn't know what to think, and you'd go out and you'd expect this experience. And the experience I got going out to the High Times Canvas Cup in Amsterdam um, was they gave you a lanyard, okay, you became a judge, but you didn't get any of the entries, you had to go and buy all the entries yeah. at the coffee shops <laughs> yeah. for top dollar for an in incredibly inflated rate. You're paying like 30 euro for a gram. Just to chase Just that. because it's the entry, right? Yeah. What and, a racket. And what a racket. Going through that experience, man, like I really ex I really expected um, a better a better experience, you know? Um, and where I'm going with the story is that I really expected the experience that I'm trying to make chalice for people. Sure. Um, and I'm not someone who had the means to really start Chalice. Um, a lot of people have misconceptions that I'm some financially trust loaded, baby, trust, trust baby. I don't know what they think, Low but uh, I'm, I'm in the rat race like anybody else um, and just trying to make it happen. I'm an ambitious guy. Um, I started my history with music festivals is I used to go travel around to music festivals selling weed. Um, started going in as a vendor. Um, you know, selling different festival gear. I'd go to Bonnaroo, I'd go to Rothbury before it turned into Electric Forest, Wakarusa, Gathering of the Vibes, all the mainstream music festivals in America. And uh, that experience also combined with like the lack, lack of experience with high times <laughs> kind of made me want to blend those worlds, you know? And uh, I, I mean, I've been really inspired through those experiences and I wanted...